We have come together in the presence of God to witness and celebrate the marriage of David and Akello and to pray God's blessing upon them now and in the years ahead. Please be seated. Marriage is a gift of God from our Creator whose intention is that husband and wife should be united in heart, body, and mind. Marriage is a way of life, to be upheld and honored. None should enter into it lightly. It involves a deep and lifelong intention to support and sustain each other's good through this union of strength, sympathy, and delight. Akello and David, we rejoice with you on this happy day. Nick and I are glad to join with you in the celebration of your marriage, to witness your vows, to pray with you, and to bless you in joy in your life together. And please be assured of the love and prayers of the congregation of Grace Church in your marriage. Beloved, I ask the love one another because love comes from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God is in us, and God's love is perfected in us. Blessed are those who put their trust in the Lord. Let us worship God. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look mercifully. On David and the Kello, who have come seeking your blessing, let your Holy Spirit rest on them, so that with steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises they are about to make. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Family and friends, let us listen now for the Word of God in Scripture. First, from the Apostle Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious, or boastful, or arrogant, or rude. Does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And also from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. 
but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Thanks be to God for the gift of his word. David and Akello, we gather here in the presence of God to witness your joining together as husband and wife. Please declare your intention of marriage by giving answer to the following question. David, will you take Akello to be your wife? Will you share her joys and ease her burdens? Will you be honest with her and be faithful to her always, as long as you both shall live? Akello, will you take David to be your husband? Will you share his joys and ease his burdens? Will you be honest with him and be faithful to him always, as long as you both shall live? And now I will ask all the family and friends to please stand. Family and friends, as those closest to our cello and David, you are not here as spectators, but as participants in this marriage and in this relationship. You have journeyed with them as they have journeyed with God over many years. Today, God brings them together in a new and renewing way. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you agree, please answer, we do. Do you, as family and friends of Akello and David, promise to do all in your power to support and encourage them now and in the years to come. We do. Amen. Please be seated. Hello and David, I invite you to clasp your hands together. And let's flowers to your maid of honor there. And just clasp your hands together. And Akello, say after me to David, I, Akello, take you, David, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. And with these words, I pledge my life to you. And David to Akello, I, David, take you, Akello, to be my wife. to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. And with these words, I pledge my life to you. Do you have rings to give as a symbol of this marriage? Yes. Moses. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. These rings are public signs of the personal promises you have made to one another 
May these rings always remind you of the covenant you have made today before God, these witnesses and each other. give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and my love that will surround you from this day forward. Okay. Just push it on. There we go. And if you put that on the third finger of Akello's left hand, say to Akello, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and my love that will surround you from this day forward. What God has joined together, let no one separate. David and Akello, you have pledged yourselves to one another in the Christian bond of marriage. You have made promises before God and these people. I pronounce that you are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, may God give light to guide you, love to unite you, grace to heal you, the peace to shelter you, so that you may be faithful to the vows you have made this day and live together in love and peace until your life's end. Amen. Would you like to kiss your wife? <laughs> And now let us pray and give thanks. Let us pray. God of hearts and homes and hands, we pray for David and Akello and give thanks that you have brought them together in marriage. Help them to grow together in faithfulness and honesty, in mutual support and patience, Make their life together be a sign of your love in this broken world. May forgiveness heal injury and joy triumph over every sorrow. <coughs> be with them in their work and renew them in their leisure. May they be a non-anxious presence for one another. May they be an inspiration to the other and always a companion in joy and sorrow. May they welcome into their home both friends and strangers, and so reflect Christ's love for all people. Holy One, today we remember those who are not able to be here today, for Betomir and Jonas and their family. Bless them, and unite us with them in heart and mind and spirit. We give thanks for the gifts and nurture of parents and for the values of life passed on generation to generation. God, as we leave this service today, we pray for your blessing on each of us and our families. For those who are married, May they leave this place with their own marriage promises renewed and strengthened. Bless Akello and David. May they grow in love, peace, hope, and joy all the days of their lives. Amen. 
And now I would ask you to turn and face your family and friends, and I would ask everyone to please stand. Family and friends, go now in the assurance of the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, which goes with you today and forevermore. Amen.
When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you till we're 70 Under the light of the flower 